How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Five Nights at Jurassic World. I'm your host, Lieutenant Grimm. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But anyways, here is a... Uh, it's a, a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's parody of Five Nights at Jurassic... Uh, five, yeah, but Jurassic Park. Well, let's get into this. Alright, I got blue, get the lava sore. They're all in one paddock. Okay. Eh, it's a muzzle enclosure. I hear that. Boom, boom. Where are they at? Okay. All good and dandy. Let's close you up. Once you, uh, once that, uh, T-Rex gets out, it's, uh, it's pretty much game over if the T-Rex gets out. That's pretty cool, believe it or not. This is just really good art style. Whoever did this was really awesome. Close you up. I haven't seen the down there they all are. They're in camp four. Lost swords again. Very, very close. Nothing in camp eight. Tyrannosaur paddock is very, very close to you. There's the guard shed. It says Velociraptor, but it has pictures of a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex. <laughs> They'll make sense. Yeah, should, yeah well, you see right there, a Spinosaurus, and right below it, it's a Tyrannosaur. Or that's just another picture of it. Okay, he's getting close. That freaking bloody loft sore. Ooh, close you up. So far, this is a really interesting game. Oh, I clicked that out the entire time. Wow. He's gone. He's in the lobby now. Ah, get out of here. I don't like that. Where is he at? I hear free advertising, yeah, freaking advertisement. Jurassic Knights. Where you going? I was on the camera on the left, so. Well, that sucked. It wasn't that the love sword got me, it was the freaking raptor. No. Get away, advertisements. We're gonna go into this one more time. And if this gets enough likes and views, I will do this again. Probably is, this is gonna be a new series. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the series along with Jurassic Park the game. 
All right, you're all in Cam 1. All of you are in Cam 1, except for one dinosaur. I think, no, I'm not sure there's all those dinosaurs. There's Tyrandons in the background. I just love this art style. It's like Jurassic World mixed with Jurassic Park. Very, very sensitive. Oh, crap. That freaking paddock. The transfer. Because as soon as the transfer gets out, it's game over. Alright, my power use is at 44%. Still, one am in night one. That fence goes up relatively fast. Who designed the door that goes on up by itself automatically? Oh, blue is getting close. Out power too. That's rough. That's rough. Crap, so freaking close. Sounds like they're close. Oh, Ooh. there's one raptor. My usage is... I'm using a lot of fucking power. Should really just... Stay. Oh, let's turn off vibration. The only time it vibrates is whenever a dinosaur attacks you. Crap! I'm neglecting that paddock again. I can't do that. Keep clicking out the freaking advertisement. It keeps coming back. It's really annoying. Night three is whenever all hell breaks loose. Oh shit. Uh, here the Dilophosaur. Oh, damn, that actually did scare me. Wow, yeah. That was Five Nights at Jurassic World. I say, it was a mess Jurassic Park with Jurassic World as far as scenery goes. It's a Jurassic Nights 2 now available. And it freaking keeps flashing. No, get all these freaking advertisements. I don't care about these adverts. So anyways, I'm going to leave this video off here. Please like this video if you, you know, if you liked it. Share it around with family and friends. Hit that subscribe button for more and become a survivor today. I'll be most likely doing more on Jura yeah, Five Nights at Jurassic World. This is actually a really cute, fun game. Well, not cute. But this actually is really fun. And it's free on Android. So yeah. So until next time, I'm Lieutenant Grimm. Keep on surviving.